Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make the huge sculpture of the Black Panther from the upcoming Marvel movie. If you enjoy my projects, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell on to get notified once I upload a new video. As you can remember, this is the Iron Man sculpture I have made uh, probably one year ago and now I'm get I am back to making like big um, statues for Marvel figures. I'm a big fan of Marvel of course and this is probably the biggest, second biggest of them of the statues I have made. And I started by making this fella which is uh, a skeleton for my uh, project here made from water bottle uh, and then on the top there is steel wires for making a hand and then wrapped around with paper on the basic places where the uh, muscles are going to be and this conserves a lot of uh, clay uh, as you can see the paper is mostly on the top part as uh, it will uh, it, as it is lighter than the clay itself and once the clay is going to be on the bottom it will be much stable than uh, now and uh, right now I have added the layers uh, first layer of clay onto this figure in order to, in order to get some uh, foundation for layering in the further uh, as you get and as you saw I have not added anything below on the bottom as there was no need for it and right now I need to um, attach uh, muscles uh, where they need to be like torso lower portion of it chest also legs are quite slim here I need to thicken them up as you can see here I have thickened up the uh, bottom portion of the sculpture of the frame of it also have made progress on the right side uh, where you can see the hands triceps shoulder and also thicker forearms and also on the back you can see back muscles as well mm, here of course I'm going to do everything the same way on the left side I mean the left chest and hands and also I'm going to add some muscles on the lower back as well to make it more muscular and here you can see the finished version of muscling our guy up. As you can see, it really looks quite nice right now. Uh, kind of reminds me of a Batman costume from um, some movie I don't remember. Uh, I think it is more resembling to George Clooney version. Uh, and this uh, coloring is because I didn't have any uh, black clay left, so I used the yellow. And uh, you can see kind of uh, layering process where I thought that I needed to add more and uh, the color difference is quite useful that way. As you can see I have thickened up, thickened up the upper neck muscles, also the uh, lower back as well. Um, and I have also made the uh, left, left side of the arms with uh, yellow clay and added the abs uh, which is a must for a superhero. Here you can see my head making process. This was quite a complicated thing to get the proportions right. Uh, here you can see the process, uh, progress I mean. Uh, it is uh, shaped already. This is the basic uh, size I'm gonna use for the head. And also you can see the back muscles, I mean the neck muscles. They are quite proportional in my opinion for the overall body uh, stature. And yeah, I'm going to smoothen them up and add some more details to it. Here you can see the finished uh, frame of it, finished product, so to say. I have added hands, of course, palms, also the ears, so to say, for the panther. But in the future I'm going to work on details about the head and that is going to change. And yeah, I have not uh, actually um, made any different uh, approach about the body. Yeah, I have uh, filled up the gaps in between the uh, separate muscles, uh, so the suit looks much better. And right now I have uh, finished the smoothing process for our sculpture. I mean, I have filled up all the gaps in between the separate muscles. Uh, uh, the first thing it does, it makes the uh, figure to look like a suit. Uh, 
in opposed to the real body as uh, even if the suit is quite thin it will simply cover the separation of muscles and it won't be as visible as on the on the like naked torso so I needed that effect also I have smoothed up the surface uh, I mean surface of the muscles and head hands as well and right now it's uh, ready for applying details uh, the details uh, is uh, the most complicated thing to do I think as they really take a lot of time here you can see hands on the closer it is uh, difficult as well but not as difficult as making details for this guy I have uh, planned the three stages for detailing I mean texturing the uh, suit right now and here you can see the finished version of it you can also see that the head is done i have applied eye sides as well and here you can see the details first was this lining part i have made to separate uh, like um, distinctive muscles and also made the chest lines as well the second uh, portion is this uh, flat uh, clay pore parts pipes attached to the suit on different uh, places uh, like on parallel and making the shapes and the third part it's this uh, are these tiny dots I have applied that it took uh, roughly about five hours if I'm not wrong it was quite a rough job um, and I was uh, I like it was a big fear for me that the um, here you can see the head in my opinion it looks phenomenal very nice uh, in my opinion of course and I was uh, thinking that it might be covered with the mm, paint and here you can see the finished version I mean the painted version of it uh, first I have uh, painted the whole thing up uh, with the dark color it was quite a hard work as when you make the surface uh, bumpy and make holes in it the paint will get get into those holes and you will need much more paint to <clears throat> just paint that surface then it would be needed on the smooth version I mean smooth surface the th second thing I have done is uh, made this silver details on the statue as you can see here uh, the claws are made from the silver clay painted clay of course and also the necklace and other details on the helmet and the, on the body as well I'm very happy with this result it took about um, maybe 30 hours totally maybe even more than that I know it might be even 50 or so but yeah I'm really satisfied with this uh, end result and yes I hope you liked my return on the Marvel side by making this sculpture uh, you can always go to my Facebook page and see pictures of this and other of my projects thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it it was quite a big challenge and a time consumer for probably one year for my sculptures. And yeah, have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.